like to recognize uh, some very special people in our midst here. We'll start off with our directors. Uh, Mr. Kodecha, who is the chairman and board of directors. Uh, you could please wave to the people so that they know you're here. A wave, please. There he is. Thank you, sir. We also have Mrs. Kotecha, our resident director. There she is. And also we have members of the SLT right here. We have, of course, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Bisaso, Mr. Holborough, Mr. Motram, and Mrs. Andrew Arthur. Yes, from primary as well. But also, the journey begins all the way in primary school. There are teachers in our midst who have seen our graduates when they were still in primary school, as young as early as, by the way. So I would like to mention some of these teachers to stand up for recognition. Ah, let's start. Mrs. Anbutera. <laughs> Mrs. Kandi Kanabahita. Mrs. Rose Kista. <laughs> Mrs. Fiona Msoke. <laughs> ah. uh, she's, she's quite popular. Keji, Keji, where are you? Keji, first stand up. She's coming. Okay. Ah, she has survived this one here. You know, when you see Keji, you may think that she was never in early years. You, she was. We have a teacher who can testify. Mrs. Ojambo. <laughs> yes. We continue. Mrs. Marcelina Onigio Bell. <laughs> Mrs. Joyce Wandawa. Miss Judith Nabanja. <laughs> Mr. Solomon Sesinde. <laughs> All right. Mrs. Mariam Paji. <laughs> Miss Christine Mozira. <laughs> Mrs. Jenny Njema. <laughs> and Miss Grace Nguinoandeva. But guess what? Amid the stars, we also have uh, alumni of Rainbow International School. These are students who have graduated, but you know, they've come to celebrate with us uh, this day. And some of them are, if I may mention, Martina Kavenge. <laughs> Probably she's not here. And of course, you can see her seated at the front. Uh, Sherina Nawakoza. Aine Babazi. You're very welcome. So, to take you through the program, ladies and gentlemen, we will have some opening remarks from the principal. Uh, we'll have some entertainment after that. A speech from the head boy and head girl. We shall have remarks from the head of year 13, uh, Miss Donna. Then we will go on to the student awards. Uh, we'll have some entertainment. We will go to the presentation of the lifelong student and then guest speaker will come in at that point. Then head boy and head girl hand over and then we will have a closing uh, piece of entertainment. Then we'll move on to the Rainbow Club. Now, without further ado, allow me to invite our principal, Mr. Derek Jones for some opening remarks. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Can I offer a very, very warm welcome to our students, our parents, our teachers, and of course, our graduates. It's at this point in time that my mind takes me back to last year, this time last year. And many of you were here during the graduation ceremony of 2023. And you may well remember that some very dark clouds rolled in and we had a storm like you've never seen before. I don't know if you were with us that day or not, but it certainly stays and lingers long in my memory of graduation ceremonies. I do think the weather is going to be much kinder to us today, so I sincerely hope that we can enjoy our graduation ceremony 2024, which is exactly what you guys deserve. So, ladies and gentlemen, board chair, Mr. Kotecha, and resident director, Mrs. Kotecha, distinguished guests, proud parents, esteemed teachers, and most importantly, 
our remarkable Year 13s. I would like to begin by dedicating this speech to Malcolm Wanzige, who sadly cannot be with his classmates and fellow leavers today. Rest in peace, Malcolm. Year 13, it's actually hard to believe that we have spent the last four years together. I don't know who deserves the medal, me or you. I have enjoyed seeing you develop both individually and as a group. And I would like to think that in some way, I've been a positive influence in your lives. Today marks a significant milestone in your lives as you prepare to leave the familiar surroundings of Rainbow, you stand at the threshold of an exciting new chapter, filled with opportunities and challenges. This is both a moment of celebration of your achievements and a launch pad into your future. You have worked hard to reach this point. You've overcome obstacles, grown academically and personally and built memories that will stay with you forever. Now, as you step into the world beyond these walls, remember that your journey is just beginning. The world you're about to enter is vastly different from the one your parents and teachers entered. It's a world that's more interconnected than ever before. Technology has erased borders, bringing people cultures and ideas closer together. In this global village, your potential impact is limitless. You have the tools to achieve incredible things, not just locally, but on a global scale. In the words of Malala Yousaf, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. Each of you carries the power to make a difference. Your education has equipped you with knowledge, but more importantly, it has taught you how to think critically, how to adapt, and how to persevere. Use these skills to chase your dreams and create positive change in the world. Set your goals high. Don't be afraid to dream big. The path to achieving those dreams won't always be smooth. There will be setbacks, failures, and moments of doubt. But remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Keep this in mind when you encounter obstacles along the way. Believe in your abilities and never lose sight of your goals. As you move forward, embrace the diversity and richness of the world. Learn from different cultures and perspectives. In our globalized world, empathy, understanding, and a pluralistic mindset are crucial. The ability to connect with others, to see the world through their eyes, will not only enrich your own life, but also help you to be a force for good. Remember to stay curious and keep learning. Education doesn't end with graduation. It's a lifelong journey. Whether you pursue further studies, enter the workforce, or take time to explore the world. Let your curiosity guide you. Stay open to new experiences and ideas, and never stop asking questions. To the parents and teachers, thank you for your unwavering support and dedication. Your guidance has helped shape these young individuals into the promising adults that they are today. And to the students, thank you for your hard work, your resilience, and your spirit. You have made us all incredibly proud. As you leave here today, 
know that you carry the hopes and dreams of all those who have supported you. Go forth with confidence, compassion, and determination. The future is yours to shape. Make it a future filled with purpose and fulfillment. Congratulations, year 13. Your adventures await. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jones, for those inspiring words. And now we need to move on to a mu musical piece. Uh, it will be performed by one of our graduates. Uh, that's going to be Chirabo Musoke. He's going, be, he's going to be performing a piano piece entitled Impromptu in B Minor. Uh, Chirabo, we welcome to the stage. Thank you.
thank you very much, Rabo, uh, for that wonderful piece. Now in school, we have a student leadership. And of course, uh, in a place like this, we uh, have people have been working very hard on the student leadership board. And I would like to use this opportunity to invite our head boy and head girl, Sid Gathani and Priscilla Naziba, to give their speech. Thank you. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, my fellow graduates, and our proud parents, today we welcome you to celebrate the journey of Rainbow's best students. Graduation day is a significant milestone, marking the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and personal growth. It symbolizes the transition from one chapter of life to another, celebrating academic achievements and the journey itself that has brought us here. Graduation Day not only honors the accomplishments of the graduates, but also acknowledges the support of family, friends, and educators that, who have contributed to their success. Therefore, to all of you that have supported us, we have a message for you. We want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has been part of this incredible journey. To our families, thank you for your constant love encouragement and sacrifices. Your belief in us has been our foundation and our strength. To our teachers and senior leadership team, thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and unwavering support. You have challenged, inspired, and shaped us into the individuals we are today. To the administration staff, ground staff, and the club staff, thank you for your hard work behind the scenes, which has made our school experience smooth and enjoyable. We appreciate all that you do. As we stand here on the threshold of a new chapter, we are reminded not only of the memories we've created together, but also of the unique journey each of us has undertaken to reach this moment. Our high school years have been far from ordinary. Tears were shed, blood was lost, hearts were broken, friendships were tested, classmates were left behind. Wait, 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 wait. This is getting a bit too serious. <laughs> Dreams were made, goals were accomplished, brotherhood was established, and lifelong memories were created. Our main highlights included an incredibly adventurous trip to Murchison Falls National Park, where we witnessed cheetahs hunting, a 10 lion pride, and the great migration of wildebeest. Rumor has it, Sid took a lion home. I did. We also had an educational trip to South Africa to participate in the annual Alamao Conference, where delegates participated in committees to enhance African development. The delegates also had an opportunity to explore South Africa and make new friends. We got to witness a historic sports day where Impala finally lifted a trophy in over five years. <laughs> Guys, before you all clap, it was the Spirit Cup, not the main one. <laughs> <laughs> then, during the Interact Outreach Program, we almost lost two of our graduates in the slums. They know themselves, but luckily, luckily, they did not take any more wrong instructions and found their way back to us. The Care Charity had an interactive outreach program with support disabled children, GABA, where we donated stationary utilities, supplies, um, and other things to aid the children using the money we collected from the fundraisers we held throughout the course of the year. Habitat for Humanity was able to not only attend a symposium where we donated 4 million Ugandan shillings, but also visit Kamocha Islamic School where we helped refurbish the classrooms. And talking about charity, we also donated a loss to the teachers when we beat them on the football field. <laughs> While joy and laughter marked the way, the journey wasn't without its share of struggles. Each obstacle overcome. However, it became a stepping stone to our growth. The exams became increasingly challenging yet, each year, yet... This class grew more diligent and determined to successfully complete high school. We engaged in lively discussions and debates, held late night study sessions, and pushed ourselves to. 
explore our capabilities to the fullest. Each student in the class pursued the maximization of their potential and have shown that no matter the challenge they face, they will succeed. Looking towards the future, we can't help but reflect on the whirlwind of university applications we tackled this year. The late nights perfecting essays, weeks spent at home revising for SATs, and the uncertainty of what lies ahead. It was all challenging. But through the chaos, we emerged more resilient, and huge credit goes to our career's advisor, Mrs. Donner, who guided us throughout the process. A bittersweet symphony plays with us as we turn the page on high school. Nostalgia tugs at our heartstrings, whispering of inside jokes with friends and late night study sessions. Yet a current of excitement crackles through us, fueled by the vast possibilities that lie ahead. We are brimming with aspirations, dreams of careers, adventures, and the chance to forge our own paths. It's a beautiful tangle of emotions right now, a testament to the transformative journey we've shared and the exhilarating unknown that beacons. However, we can't forget those who started this journey with us. On the 19th of April, 2023, our class lost a resilient and determined classmate, Malcolm Manzige. He was a hardworking individual in all his subjects, despite his health conditions he faced. He was truly a remarkable individual who has left a print on all of us. Today, you may hear only 28 names being called on the stage, but in our hearts, we are graduating as a class of 29. To our classmates, thank you for the shared experiences, the laughter, and the friendships that have made these years unforgettable. Together, we have grown, learned, and overcome challenges, creating memories that will last a lifetime. And to our head of year, Mrs. Donna, and our form teachers, your unwavering support, guidance, and encouragement have been the pillars upon which our successes have been built. We know we haven't been the easiest class, but you have always stood by us. We will carry your lessons with us as we venture into our future. Here's to the head of year and our form teachers, a true embodiment of dedication and excellence. Graduates, take a deep breath and savor this moment. We did it. We did it. The late nights, the challenges, the triumphs, they've all woven a tapestry of resilience and knowledge. But remember, this is just the beginning. The world awaits a canvas primed for your dreams. Don't be afraid to step out the lines. Stumble to learn to break limits. Embrace the unknown with courage, for within it lies the potential for greatness. Go forth, class of 2024, and chase the horizon with unwavering passion. The future is bright, and you hold the brush. Student Leadership Team 2024, signing out. So, but to give the speech for head of year 13, we will invite Mrs. Muchongu Zidona to give her speech. You're welcome, Miss. Um, when it comes to this class, <laughs> words kind of fail me <laughs> because um, they've not only been my class but they grew to be my friends, each one of them. And as the head of year, I led them partly as a team and a group, but also very, very individually. And I think it's something most people need to do, not to put a whole group together, but also to look into the individual as a person. I was privileged to be a head of the tutor team that took care of these guys here, my friends. And uh, before I start, I just want to um, acknowledge 
all protocol observed. I'm not going to mention names, but we are so happy that each one of you is here today. Um, I've been given five minutes, and I'll try to summarize my little speech in those five minutes. Uh, I want to start by thanking uh, the tutor team. And I'll mention you by name, and I really want you to stand up because you have helped these guys so much. So, Mr. Nakate, stand up. Uh, Ms. Garia, Ms. Kohli, uh, Mr. Chivelu. Uh, Mr. Nakate, I think it goes on record that he has never missed school. Whether he's sick or whether he's lost someone, Mr. Nakate will be in class, on the computer. And should the year 13 be faulted for anything, it was never the register. Thank you very much, Mr. Nakati. <laughs> uh, Ms. Garia, in her very humble way, shows her presence in class. You know, she's not a big talker than, like I am. But, you know, when she stands to speak, the kids listen and they know she means well. Thank you, Ms. Garia. <laughs> Um, Mr. Shiveru, <laughs> Mr. Shiveru, it's hard to imagine Mr. Shiveru speaking out of the chemistry class, but when he flashes his toothy shark smile in the morning, <laughs> anyone who came sad, honestly, the spirits lift up. Thank you, Mr. Shiveru, very much. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ms. Kohli, Ms. Kohli joined us much later but I want to thank her for choosing us because she was given a chance to choose any tutor team. And I don't know what she likes so much about these wonderful people. She said, I'm sticking with this one. So thank you, Miss Colley. It's been a short time, but we have really felt your presence and your guidance. Thank you very much. And you can sit. They, they've made the year 13 a homeroom. And I worked in another school before where we call tutor classes homerooms. And I think there is a reason why they are called homerooms. It's a place where you should go and feel at home. I know that I'll go to Mr. Nakote, and if I tell him something more than just math, he will listen to me. On that note, I just want to thank these guys, the year 13 graduates today, for listening to us. And I know you want the best of listeners to some other people, <laughs> but we had no trouble with you listening to us. And so I thank you very much for respecting us in, in that regard. Um, I don't think there, was a, there is a time when any of the other teens came and said, ah, we are going to meet Mr. Shveru again. It was never there. And so thank you for making a home uh, for these graduates uh, in and out of school. Um, I would like to thank Mr. Yu. <laughs> Mr. Yu, stand up. <laughs> we have, um, Mr. Yu and I have led the sixth form for the last six years, and we've done very many fantastic things together. We've um, worked together to organize student leadership elections. We've sat on interview panels. Um, we've done induction for the year 12s, and it was always good to, to just bounce ideas by you because I know you would listen to me and I would listen to you. We were such a, an incredible team. Thank you, Mr. Yu, very much. Um, I would like to thank the team behind this glamour, um, the administrator of Lakshmi. I would like to thank Ms. Annette in a special way because he replies to all those emails and uh, sends all those transcripts and he made, she made my work very easy. Because I think the other teens may have thought, where, where, where does she get all these things so quickly? But it, I can't take the credit, Miss Annette. Always, you send an email, and Bambi, she will, she will reply almost immediately. So thank you, Annette, very much. I appreciate your work. Um, yeah, we would like to thank all the teachers. Uh, they already acknowledged the primary teachers. It goes without saying that it began from you. And we appreciate all of you. We appreciate the high school teachers. Sometimes we take the shine because we are teaching in a level. But, you know, everyone plays a part. Everyone plays a part in producing such individuals as these. So thank you to all the teachers. Please join me to clap hands for them for the work well done. Um, 
Thank you to SLT. <laughs> the other teens confess they may not have been the most uh, easy class, but you've taken them in your stride, Mpola Mpola. So <laughs> thank you, and we appreciate that. Um, the student body, very soon, before you know it, the 12s will be here, the 10s will be here, and it will become your turn one time. But you don't just jump there. It takes a little while, and it takes hard work, it takes discipline. You know, there are some students that are discontinued along the way. It takes discipline to be able to sit here and here and go on to university. So thank you to the student body for giving these people the support they needed when they needed it. Thank you very much. And uh, last but not least to the parents. If there are any other teen parents here, <laughs> they know how many emails I send in a day sometimes. Thank you for responding to those emails. And uh, for some of you who have not responded when I've needed it, I forgive you already. <laughs> because you have another year with another head of year who is going to do exactly the same. But, but you've been um, incredible partners in, um, in helping us deal with these young people. Um, I will not mention names, but there is a student that came late two straight years. And I spoke to the dad and said, man, this thing is not working. I said, from today, if this student is ever late, I'm not my name. And another student never came late at all again. I don't know why I didn't go to him much earlier. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's been incredible. Another thing I want to thank the parents for is um, for accepting the friendship groups that are in year 13. I appreciate that so much. For driving them uh, to those discussion groups for making sure that they go to prom, but they'll go home safely. I remember that happening. For coordinating together. And if one of the parents was here, I would have mentioned her name. But there are some friendships in year 13 that are never going to die down, no matter what. Because these kids have become brothers. And I mean, a big brotherhood that grieve together, but also party together. I can never forget when we lost Malcolm. When we lost sorry. When we lost Malcolm, I think it was the most painful death that I ever experienced. One day Malcolm was at his chair. And another day he was not there. And the whole of the year thirteen class we went for that funeral service. And I can never forget the picture of the year 13 in their uniforms escorting Malcolm's casket. That brotherhood just never dies. And so if we have not done things right in year 13, I think we've built a brotherhood. And that's, that goes so deep, deeper than any grades can, can fathom. So thank you guys for being such a brotherhood and being such a family. Now, uh, lastly, to my class of uh, 2024. When I thought about a speech, I thought of going to Chad GPT and getting fancy words and slapping them here today. <laughs> but then I thought, no, I think it is, it's a, a disservice to the class that you've loved so much. I think I've taken my role a little bit more seriously than I should sometimes. Because what they've done has affected me in ways that they shouldn't. I would be scared to look at the tracker in the evening because I sure would find a few names. Should I mention? No. <laughs> a few names for not doing homework, for not stacking in, for, you know, but, but we, we would talk. So I, I have loved some of those challenges that you took me to. I think I'm going to be a better parent <laughs> to my own little ones uh, because we went through this together. Um... Sometimes I was blinded and I want to say sorry <laughs> to the people I may have thought, oh, why are you hating on the other teens? What have they done? Nah. I think I was blinded sometimes um, from what, how mischievous some of them would, could be and are, by the way. I just later got to know when my eyes opened up. So um, I have the good, the bad. But lastly, in year 12... 
when we were starting the school year, we, we wrote down a class code. And it, it involved accountability, it involved respect, hard work, resilience, teamwork, kindness. And the little good you saw, or the, a lot of good you saw the year 13 do, most of the times I think was because of that class code. We didn't want to break it because we would be breaking everyone else. So thank you to the year 13s for keeping the class code and uh, knowing that it goes a long way when you do something together uh, as a group. Um, I have loved being your head of year. I have loved the conversations in the careers room. <laughs> I've, had, uh, I've loved the ranting sometimes where I didn't, really couldn't do anything about anything you were ranting about. I have loved um, writing your recommendations. Um, and sometimes so late into the night when only God and I were awake. I have loved saying good things about you, but I also acknowledge that there are a few things that you must work on uh, to get on with life. So we celebrate the small wins, we celebrate the big wins, but I want you to keep this in mind, that you're going to make many mistakes along the way, because you've been sheltered, and now you're going to be on your own. And no one is going to tell you if you're late or if you hand, haven't handed in your, your homework. And, and no BTEC teacher is going to say, I'm giving you a little more time. No one is going to do that. So you've got to grow up. You've got to mature. You've got to man up. And because there is a lot coming, allow yourselves to make the mistakes, but learn from them. And that will go a long way uh, with you. I wish you well, guys. I wish you well. I wish you the best. I was wondering yesterday if you are ready. If you are ready uh, for a world without walls, without teachers, without a school bell, without curfew from your parents. Are you ready for it? A world where no one has to tell you what you have to do. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? But part of me says you are. And along the way, you will learn a lot of things and unlearn some things as well. So thank you again uh, to everyone who has been here to uh, celebrate the year 13 class. Um, I always tell each class that uh, graduates that in a world where you can be so very many things, remember to be kind. Remember to be kind to your roommate you will never know what sometimes they are going through. Sometimes what you see on top is not what's going on inside. So be kind to the stranger on the bus stop. Be kind to the stranger in the bus. Be kind to someone who comes to you and says, yo, I am, I am I'm drowning. Don't add more water in the river where they are drowning. Try and help them out. I will stop here. But I'm really so happy that my class of 2024 is graduating today. And I love you guys. <laughs> and I'll be praying for you. And I'll be waiting to hear from you about many other wins and celebrations in the future. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And God bless you all. Now, the moment that you've all been waiting for the student awards. But before we get in there, you need to give your final bow. Uh, you know, when you're in year 13, uh, some of the students you see seated there are saying, uh, we are going to lose a swimmer, we are going to lose uh, a sportsman. Yeah, so it's a chance for those houses that have not been doing probably well. Uh, some are saying, yeah, he's going, she's going, it's now our chance. So, allow us to do this. Amanu, Kiati, David, Jonathan, Manit, Pranil, and Zaming, please stand up. Those are the Resorians. Take your final bow to Resori House as you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the Impalas. Llewellyn, Chandra, Peter, Kamsime, Evita, Kayula, Abel, and Mia. Take your final bow. All the way from Impala. <laughs> 
And moving on to Sese, Sid, Chirabo, Kushi, Keji, Claudia, Priscilla, and Anson. Your final bow to the house, please. <laughs> and then lastly, Choga House, we have Joshua, Jamie, Nicole, uh, Kusima, Jethro, and Paul. Your final bow to the house. Yeah, we will miss you, but you, you will also give opportunity to others to shine and then win your house as well, but it's okay. All right, now I'm going to use this chance to call again uh, the student leadership. Uh, that is Sid Gathani and Priscilla Naziba to go through the student awards. With the same spirit, I would like to invite Mr. Jones and Miss Donna uh, to help during this uh, session. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, when they call your name, please enjoy the moment. You are allowed to dance. You can pose. No somersaulting, please. Uh, we need you to stay smart in your gowns, but yeah, just enjoy the moment. Thank you. Okay, so to start us off, we have one of the most spo soft-spoken individuals in our class. She can seem quiet and shy till you get to know her. Personally, that's how some of us got to experience the bubbly side of her personality. I got to share a room with this individual in our class trip, and that taught me one more thing about her, that she literally sleeps like a princess. Every day she's come out of her shell more and more, and we've gotten to see her personality blossom. She loves to bake and makes food that looks too good to be true sometimes. That's how good she is. She has shared this side with herself amongst the various charities by helping to prepare the food and drinks that sold during the sales. She, with, with aspirations to take her career in hospitality and business to the next level, let's give it up for Kiati Datani. Okay, coming in second is someone who joined us just two years back, but rapidly became one of our own. He's someone who we would call a lone ranger, but once a friend, he will be one of the most loyal you've ever had. He has several passions instilled in him, from a penchant for different foods to a deep love for technology and gaming. His expressions are a beautiful source of laughter, and one of my classmates would even describe him as cute clumsy. He likes playing volleyball and badminton, and frequently astounds us with his classy choice of a shirt with flamingos on it. Aspiring to spearhead the computer science industry, he goes on to study computer science in Canada. Although he is not able to join us today, I take pleasure in introducing Sun Zan Ming. May I ask that Ms. Donna receives his certificate on his behalf? Ladies and gentlemen, if tasked with describing this individual in a single word, humility would be the most fitting. He not only carries his achievements with modesty, but also embodies kindness, a quality that distinguishes him. One might ponder how he has managed to retain such humility amidst his considerable accomplishments over the past years. In addition to his outstanding academic achievements, he has made significant contributions to our school's teams specifically the sports teams, such as football, volleyball, and notably basketball. During the last basketball season, his performance arguably positioned him as the best player in ISAC. However, his talents extend beyond athletics. It was during our first A-level swimming gala that I discovered his exceptional dancing abilities. 
those that even challenge us some seasoned dancers. These diverse talents have not only boosted his confidence, but have also contributed to his personal growth. As he embarks on his journey to pursue a career in mechanical engineering, we extend our heartfelt wishes for his continued success. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Biarhanga Kamusime. Next off, one of the geniuses of our class will be coming on. He strives for perfection, teaching and correcting each one of us in our wrong instances. He is one of the most active members of the class. If there's a problem on the board, his hand will definitely be up to solve it. Continuously polishing his various skills, such as his limitless proficiency and magic on the piano, he has passed spearhead the field of technology as he goes on to study computer science. Since his enrollment in year two, he has grown alongside the school, achieving great feats at each level. I have no doubt that in the next stage of his life, he will have majestic amounts of success. I take pleasure in introducing a friend I have known for Many years too many to count. Shirabo Musoki. Next, we have an individual whose presence is truly captivating. Every moment I have spent with her is always filled with joy and enthusiasm. She possesses a resilient spirit that will lead her towards great success in the wider world. Her love extends not only to her classmates, but also encompasses the entire school community. Her dedication is evident in numerous endeavors, from her tireless efforts in the FN lab to her active involvement in capturing moments for the Habitat for Humanity outreach program. Her commitment is not confined solely to extracurricular activities. Within the BTEC department, she displays a commendable focus and passion for her work. I recall an instance when she went for a class trip and recounted how she was the sole individual to notice an error on a poster at the visited company, a detail overlooked even by the company staff itself. Her keen eye for detail left a lasting impression on the manager. I extend my sincere wishes for her continued success. Please join me in applauding Evita Victoria as she takes the next steps in her life path. The person I will now introduce is someone I have been with since year one. He has seen the wooden ship we had in primary be removed. He has seen this court be built. He has seen this school grow and he has grown in it. He has faced many challenges in life, but he has crushed them all. With great devotion to the subjects he studies, he has pushed himself to attain his potential in school. Be it 4 p.m. or 4 a.m., this gentleman is always learning, polishing and perfecting his knowledge. Recently, he even published a 500-page textbook on microeconomics on an IGCSE Discord server. 
However, his discipline doesn't exist only between the books. This year, he ran the 1,500 meters race, representing Impala, the last sports day. He trained, he succeeded. Yet, his contributions don't stop at athletic participation or knowledge distribution. He provides for community as well. With years of participation and a successful tenure as the secretary of, chari of the charity care, he has contributed to many people's lives. He now continues to pursue his deep passion in electrical engineering as he races on to the next stage of his life at the University of Melbourne. And there is no doubt that success will meet him instantly. I invite, with immense pride, one of my first friends, Chandra Molly Goswami. <laughs> During my early days at Rainbow, Anson and I found ourselves grappling to, pace with our, to keep pace with our lessons, particularly challenging given our online environment. This individual joined Google Meet sessions to assist us, although we later discovered he was just as lost as us. Nevertheless, he was always happy to help. Upon joining the Rainbow community, it became evident that he, that he is cherished by all. His affection for his friends and teachers is reciprocated warmly. His dedication shines through not only in physics and maths, subjects he thrives in, but also in his prowess in the swimming pool, where he has made significant contributions to the ISAC swim team, earning five medals in the most recent swim gala. A vibrant presence in our community, his absence is keenly felt by our class. Some may say he's just that guy. The, this person has attended the Alamao conferences and was one of the best delegates in his committee. He extends his commitment beyond academics, actively participating in charitable initiatives such as Habitat for Humanity, where his reliability as a board member is commendable. Leading Kyoga House to victory in Year 12 Sports Day ex exemplifies his leadership and team spirit. He embodies selflessness and respect, qualities that promise to guide him towards future success in his ambition to pursue a career in civil engineering. Please join me in welcoming Jamie Magezi to the stage. Oh. I be hustle to walk say you do a leg bow me and see for more dogs to do we been hustle to walk say you do a leg bow my people dey my people suffer them they pray for blessing say you do a leg bow my people dey them they pray for blessing for better living, kilo Introducing next, a man with a sharp wit, an awesome sense of humor, and a half-grown beard. He's a dedicated individual with a profound level of motivation. He knows how to turn tables. I believe my chemistry class can vouch for it, as we know that his discipline and attitude for learning enabled him to achieve an improvement of seven grades between mock exams and AS level exams. I would also encourage all students to learn from him. I remember waking up on my Alamao trip to this man arranging his chemistry notes on the table. Evidenced by his passion and perseverance in the sciences, I can assure that he will attain success in his dream profession as a doctor. Apart from his participation in class, he has contributed significantly to the community as the Vice President of Blessed Child Foundation and during his year as IT Prefect. 
As a vital member of Impala during sports events, this gentleman runs on to the next stage in studies to the University of Nicosia in Cyprus. I introduce the man who gave us our most memorable laughs of Alamar 2023. Coming on, Kayula Musana. I was born to be a winner. All my life I've been a sinner. But you know we got a joke too. Girl by my side, calm selfish. If you don't know your rules, then you're worthless. Yeah, we're just walking purchase. Yeah, my whipping no insurance. Yeah, baby, I need your reinsurance. When Fred pull up, don't act nervous. Yeah. All gold on my chain. Gold Coast ancestry, Cadillac shades, got gold on my frame. With style, I'm preaching on my enemies. I was drinking pit stop, was the chicken shop. A local henny for the remedy. Grab packaging top, not turn. Next up, we have the pleasure of introducing one of the most amiable individuals I've had the privilege of knowing. Our friendship actually dates back to our primary school days, and after a separation of seven years, our paths managed to cross again when I joined Rainbow in year 10. It was no mere chance that she was assigned to, me to be my buddy, offering invaluable support during my initial weeks at Rainbow. Throughout my A-level journey in biology, chemistry, and maths, her unwavering encouragement and belief in the power of determination were instrumental. She taught me the importance of maintaining a positive outlook, even amidst challenges. She also taught me the importance of sometimes feeding into your delusions. Her dedication extends beyond academics. She has made significant contributions as the house captain of Kyoga and served admirably as president of Habitat for Humanity this last year. Her caring, cheerful, and genuine demeanor not only make her a cherished friend to many, but also positions her strongly for success in, asp for success in her aspiration to become a distinguished doctor. Please join me in applauding Nicole Bisangwa as she embarks on the next phase of her journey. Ladies and gentlemen, the individual that I will now introduce is a human embodiment of culinary artistry, musical aptitude, and athletic performance. He understands the art of stealing your heart through food and frequently astounds us with the mouth-watering dishes that he makes. His charitable and helpful persona has led him to support multiple charities during sales, many times single-handedly managing the production of food that is sold by the charities. With his great devotion to the community, he has also completed two demanding years as performing arts prefect with no stain on his performance record. However, his powerful discipline pushes him to do much more, not only vital to the Renzori House, but to the Rainbow Athletic teams. He has helped Risu earn multiple achievements in sports events. With a mindset as strong as a soldier's, he faces each challenge without fear, aiming for success in hospitality management and hotel ownership. May I take the pleasure to introduce Jonathan Asia. <laughs> Next up, we have a closeted science nerd, the secret math, math whiz. 
He denies his love for reading to the class, yet opens his physics books in between his workout sets. He is a hard worker in the classroom with Mr. Kibera as his best friend and also when he hops onto the track. His athletic achievements have, def- has, have significantly impacted Sese House, where he holds a distinguished place on the Sports Day Honours Board and the Isaac track team, where he secured two medals this past year. As a leader, he has captained his house to victory for two consecutive years, securing six trophies out of nine. He is also an active participant in the classroom, always eager to learn, solve problems, and ask for what I got in the test, even if he knows I won't tell him. His personality brought something new to the class, and his competitive nature motivates his peers to strive for success. Throughout my journey here, he has been my steadfast supporter, and I am grateful to have shared both the beginning and end of this chapter with him. Before I glaze him any further, let's give it up for our future mechanical engineer, Anson Nazeba. It may not mean nothing to y'all, but understand nothing was done for me. So I don't plan on stopping at all. I want it forever, mine, ever, mine, ever, mine. I shut this down in the mall. It's selling there, girl, she the one for me. And I ain't even planning the call. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, faded off the brown. Nino, she insists she got more. Coming up next, a paper merchant, the man who knows mark schemes better than the examiners. When he gets good grades, he will always let it be known among his peers, creating inspiration and aspiration amongst all. He carries great skills in coding. With great competitiveness, he pushes to break his limits consistently, from the chemistry lab to the Fortnite lobby. He has saved us several times in peak moments before chemistry exams by sharing a great magnitude of notes, which we will always be grateful for. Standing with his friendly, inclusive, and welcoming nature, especially to younger years, he creates an environment for growth as seen by his presence and efforts in his leadership roles. He's an outgoing public relations prefect and the president of Blessed Child Foundation. Let's welcome Manit Bhatt. Moment when I show up, got them saying why. What's up? No cameras allowed. 